today. And what do we got going on? You're going to want um, a, two sets of dumbbells if you have them, a lighter set, and then sort of a moderately heavy set. Think upper body when you choose those weights. Um, and we are going to run through, this is a no repeat workout. And so we're going to run through a series of exercises, top to bottom, a lot of compound exercises here. Um, we are going to definitely have rests in between because again, this is upper body, we're going to need them, but feel free to rest as needed or switch out dumbbells. If you start off with the heavier set, switch to the lighter set. That's totally fine. Um, we will start on our feet, work our way down to the mat, and then have a little finisher challenge right at the end. So I'm gonna turn up the music. We've got country workout going on today, so we'll see what happens. First time trying the playlist and make no promises. If it's really awful, I'll change it. But sometimes they're good, you know? All right, let's do this. All right, shaking everything out to start off with, and then start with those jumping jacks. Dialing in your focus right from the get-go to the upper body. So think shoulders, back, lower back, core. Just making sure everything feels loose, ready to go. And uh, if there's any weird aches or pains or soreness, um, that you're working that out as we move through the warm-up. So arms all the way up in these jumping jacks just to get a little blood flow to the arms. Work through some shoulder mobility. Let's go five, four, three, two, and one. Just a couple of butt kicks here just to continue to get the heart rate up. So this is definitely not a cardio-centric workout. This is a strength-centric workout. <laughs> But because of just the sort of pile on of upper body exercises, your heart rate will get up there a little bit. We just want to give a little bit of that boost. Let's go three, two, and one into high kicks. So we're not going to spend as much time on lower body warm-ups as we normally do. Just so we have a little bit of time to throw in a few more upper body exercises. We want to make sure the chest and the back are stretched out and ready. Shoulders, of course. Get those toes up as high as you can. Let's go three, two. Rebecca, you look here like you're dancing. Last one. You're just like, dude, are going in circles. I love it. All right, knees to chest. Boom, bring it in. Big open and drop. Starting to get a little balance going on here. So again, you're going to want two sets of dumbbells this morning. Definitely test yourself. Use those heavier dumbbells where you can. But again, this is a long, no-repeat workout, so there's going to be points where I'll either recommend using the lighter dumbbells or you're just going to want to switch them out. But challenge yourself. Go for some strength here. Let's go one more stretch each side. Big up. All right, shake the legs up, nice wide stance. We're going to turn our attention to the upper body. Arms up and out to the side. Start with those gentle pulls, left to right here. The focus is from the hips up. So stretching through the side of the torso, pulling through the fingertips so that you can feel that stretch through the bicep. Go ahead and add that rotation in. So the arm that you're leaving behind rotates back and then up towards the ceiling. And pay attention to where that rotation is coming from. It's not coming from the wrist, it's coming from the shoulder. Let's go one more to each side. Pull. Through the center and pull. All right, up to the top, into those toe touches. Again, taking it nice and slow until you feel the hamstrings loosen up a little bit, the lower back. We'll be able to sink a little bit deeper into that stretch. Reaching across the body for the opposite foot. Slow things down just enough so you can get that little extra pull down towards the leg. Let's go one more each side. Grab my guitar, 
All right, stand up nice and tall. Shake the legs out. We have a few more upper body exercises, dynamic warm ups to get us started here. So let's open up the chest and back. Fingertips together at the front. You're going to pull away from the body and round the back out back behind you. Stretch the lats. And then exhale, open up your grip, bring it towards the body, and open up your chest. So again, fingertips together, pull away from the body, and round that back out. And then release and pull in towards the chest, big open. So you're squeezing those shoulder blades down and back. One more. Pull out, round the back. And then release and bring the fingertips towards the shoulders, shoulders down and back. Shake the arms out. We're going to go in for those reaches here. Wake up the torso, wake up the abs and the lats and the shoulders. So exhale on the reach, right hand up over. Left hand reaches for the hip and then switch sides. And again, exhale on that reach. So you can get a little bit deeper into the stretch, but it also starts to speed up your respiratory rate a little bit as well. You can start to feel the torso get a little bit longer. Shoulders get a little bit more mobile. Let's go three. Let's go two. And let's go one. All right, shaking everything out. Just loosen up those arms. You need to look, add a little balance to it so the upper body just sort of completely loosens up here. So we've got our two sets of dumbbells nearby. Again, no repeats through this whole workout. We're going to have rest intervals that are a little bit longer than we typically have. So the idea there is to sort of get some water, shake the arms up. This is upper body, so we're definitely going to need them. First couple of intervals, you might feel like, why is this so long? You're going to appreciate them when we get down deeper into the workout. So we are going to start with a dumbbell shoulder press. So you're going to be here, press, and down. I want you to focus on keeping the core nice and tight, the back nice and straight, and try to start off with that heavier set of dumbbells that you have next to you, okay? So here we go. Let's dive into this workout. All right. Dumbbells in the end. We're going to go for that hold and then the press. So dumbbells up, elbows about shoulder height, and you're going to press right and left. Focus on each rep as it comes. Don't jump too far ahead. One press, lock in that form and bring it back to the center. Go ahead and use the screen to watch your own form and make sure you're hitting that T. Yeah, these look good. Nice. Tucking the tailbone under so you're getting rid of that little arch at the lower back. Pulling the abs in towards the spine. Walking in some good form right from the get-go. Press and bring it in. One more each side. Last press. And then bring it to your center and those dumbbells can go down. I do recommend dropping the dumbbells in between. So, exercise two. This is about as far as I'm going to count the exercises. So, we're going to go in for a dumbbell pull. No, we're not. That's next. We're going in for a bent over row. We're going to alternate flies. So, with me here again with those heavier dumbbells, bend at the waist. You're going to go both elbows into the row. Now, the right hand comes down straight, fly, and then back into the row. Left hand, arm straightens, fly, and back into the row. There you go. Nice. Excellent. So straighten, and that back stays nice and straight. Yeah, awesome. Waking up those mid-back muscles, waking up the lats and the lower back. Nice. That hold means tension on the back the whole time. Three, two, and one. Straighten both arms and stand up nice and tall. All right, now we're going to our curl with a hold. So, again, you have time here to shake it up. Time enough to grab some water in between rounds. We're going to need this. Arms are going to start to get tired, right? So, dumbbells up. We're going to go in for the hold first. So, find that 90 degrees. Right arm. Full curl. Back to 90. Full curl on the left. And back to 90. Yeah. Beautiful. Nice. 
And again, we're trying to hold on to those heavier dumbbells as long as possible. But if you reach a point where you're struggling to hold on to the four, that's when you switch to the lighter dumbbells, okay? You can always come back to the heavier. Yeah. Up. We've got 10 seconds to go. Biceps feel on my hold. We've got four, three, two, and one. All right. There we go. Shake it out again. So let's get a little tricep shoulder combo into play. We're going to be back up. This is going to be our hold. You're going to go single arm extension, narrow press. Single arm, narrow press. So two dumbbells in hand. Go ahead and lock and load. Single extension, narrow press. So that elbow stays to the front of your body. You're bending forward and pushing back up. Yeah, there you go. Yep. Yeah, nice. Think about a wall on either side of you, right? So you're trying to stay within the confines of that wall. Hitting shoulders, hitting triceps. Nice. Excellent. So even on that extension, right, the elbow comes forward. Four, three, two, and one. Bring it in. Nicely done here. All right, here we go. We're going to go back to biceps. We're hitting biceps quite a bit this time. We're going to go wide curl to rotation. So you're going to start nice and wide, curl, and then the rotation actually comes to the front and back out. So usually we curl in the front and go wide. We're going in opposite directions. So dumbbells kind of face out to the side. Curl wide, come to 90, center, out, and curl. Yeah, so we're playing with a lot of rotation today and a lot of holes. Center and out. Nice. So with this wide curl, you should start to feel the outside of the bicep. Keep those elbows locked in by your ribcage so they're just a pivot point. Yes. Nice. Love that 90 degrees. You guys are great. Four, three, two, and one. All right. Here's one that I recommend going a little bit lighter for here, especially because we're a ways into the workout. What we're going to do is we're going to go 90 degree hold, and you're going to press, but you're going to rotate the wrist and press, and then back to 90 in the front. So again, I recommend going with the lighter weights here. So 90 degree with your palms facing you. Rotate the wrist and press right up towards the ceiling. Neutral grip press and back to 90. Up and bring it to the front. So again, this is another one. Your elbows are going to flare out a little bit, but not quite as wide as an Arnold press because you're already halfway up. Make sure that when the elbows come back down to shoulder height, you're really looking for that 90 degrees. The forearms are facing right up towards the ceiling. See, now you can feel why we're going lighter on these. Here we go. Five seconds to go. Three, two, and one. Bring it in. All right. If you're feeling good, if you're feeling strong, we're going back to those heavier dumbbells. We're going to go into a hold, but this time, hammer curl. So, two dumbbells in hand. Neutral grip, so your palms are facing your legs. You're going to find... 90, and we're just going to do that same curl business, but with a hammer. Boom, and 90. Down. Yeah, beautiful. All right, so torso's locked in place here. Abs are nice and tight. I think I just forgot what I was doing on that one. I forgot the first part of the bicep curl. Boom. Yeah. Arms are going to start to get tired, so it's going to fit. Be really important to pay attention to form and really consciously connect to those curls, to whatever muscles do in the work. Two and one. All right, dumbbells down. We have a few more exercises before we take a real break and work our way down to the mat. We're going to start with a partial raise to a stun press. So you're really only going to need a single dumbbell for this one. Holding on to either side of the head. We're going to do a sort of a reverse stun. So you're going to lift up to halfway, squeeze the dumbbell, bring it into the chest, push it out, and straight arms down. Nice and slow. 
So sort of that reverse spin press, adding in that partial front raise. Elbows out to the side. And remember, you want to be pushing in on that dumbbell as if you were trying to break it. You're going to know you're doing it right when you start to feel your armpits shake. Yeah, come on. Five, four, three, two, and one. All right, down to the front. This next one, I'm going to recommend going on the lighter side again. We're going to do straight up kickback to that front raise from a bent over position. So, lighter dumbbells in hand. Hinge at the hips, arms start nice and straight. So, we're going to start kickback and then all the way forward to that front raise. Pause at the center to sort of regroup. Kickback and then all the way forward to that front raise. If the weights that you are choosing are too heavy, to continue with that front raise, that double, you're going to switch that to an alternating. So you would go one and two. Yeah, beautiful. Nice. Keep the lower back nice and straight. We're coming up on a break here. So try to push all the way through. Four, three, two, and one. All right, stand up nice and tall. Dumbbells to the side. Finally earned ourselves a real break. So stretch out the arms, grab some water. And we're going to head to the mat. Woo! All right, definitely feeling those arms. Still good, though. We've got about a minute of work or of rest. So go ahead and set your mats up, and you're going to want to bring both sets of dumbbells down to the ground, nearby, but out of the way. And we are going to work from the mat for the second half of this upper body set. So we're going to start on the mat, we're going to do some tricep work here, and we're going to start with skull crusher. So you're going to want to have both heavy, well, depending on the weight, I would say both heavy dumbbells in hand. You're going to start on your back. What you're going to do, these are just long tricep extensions. So push the dumbbells together at the top, bend, and extend. All right? So, dumbbells together. If the heavy is too much, switch to the lighter. You're going to lock your elbows into a straight position. Angle your arms back over your head, and then bend and extend. Bend up the elbows, so again, the elbows become the only pivot point. Yeah, nice. Bend. And push right back up towards the ceiling. These are called skull crushes for a reason. Stay strong. Push right up towards the ceiling. This is a great way to test that tricep strength. Bend. And extend. We've got five. Four, three, two, and one. All right. Heavier dumbbells to the side. We're going to do what's called the tape press right now. So you're going to want your lighter dumbbells. And here's how this works. I'm going to face this way just so you can see what my arms are doing. Push straight up. You're going to bend in towards the center and push right back up to the top. So two light dumbbells in hand. Palms facing forward, you're going to bend into the center, elbows straight out to the sides, and push right back up. Into the center, yeah, there you go, this is a ton of mobility. Hitting those triceps, biceps, and forearms. Woo! Come on. Bring it in, again, consciously connect to the muscles, doing the work. And right back up to the top. You should be feeling those triceps in a big way right now. Four, three, two, and one. Bring it in. All right, we're going to play with a little bit of speed here. So grab your heavier dumbbells. I know, we're all over the place. We're going to do some chest pressing, but we're going for a little bit of speed. So we don't slow it down as much as we can. Instead, without losing form, speed it up. Here we go. Two and one. Let's go. So we're looking for reps here. We're sort of getting as much cardio at, out of the chest press as possible. It's not much, 
But we're looking to kind of fatigue those chest muscles here. We're not quite finished, but we definitely want them at that point as we finish up this particular circuit. Push. Keep it going all the way through to the end. We've got 10 seconds. At this point, you're just keeping that push going. Let's go. Five, four, three, two, and one. Bring it in. Nice and done. All right. Now we're going to slow it way down, and we're going to switch to those lighter weights. We're going into chest flies. So we're going from steep chest presses to slow chest flies. So we're going lighter weights here. Arms straight up, palms facing in, and you're going to go into those flies. You're going to take as much time with these flies as you can. This is the last exercise of this circuit that's going to require weight. So when the timer goes off, you can push it to the side and pull it over onto your stomach. 15 seconds to go. Chest is feeling it. Biceps are feeling it. All the way through. Remember, keep it nice and slow. You want to resist as much as you're initiating the movement. Two and one. Bring it in. All right. Dumbbells off to the side so you have space. And then go ahead and flip it over. So we're going to play with that cobra push-up that we're, we've been doing. So this time we're going even narrower grip. You're actually going to have your hands as close to a diamond shape as you can or a triangle shape under the chest. Elbows out to the side and you're going to push up into cobra and right back down. So fingertips are touching just under the chest into that cobra push-up. So that means you're leaving your hips on the ground. Yep, all the way up and right back down. Nicely done here. Big work on the triceps and the chest this round. And bring it in. Five, four, three, two, and one. All right, quick little break here. So we're going to go into some very slow swimmers. What we're going to do is we're going to get up into that Superman hold. See if you can hold for the whole working dribble. The swimmers is going to be where we add in a little bit of movement, a little bit of relief. So we're going to start with the arms straight out in front. Legs behind, you're going to lift. That's going to be your hold, right? So we're back into that hold and moving from that position. Draw the elbows down and back, squeezing in towards the spine, and then reach back out. We're not going to give ourselves that little relief. We're just going to continue doing the swimmers. Reach and pull it in. So what you're going to find you need to do is really squeeze all of those muscles all down the back side of the body to maintain this hold. Yeah, stick with it. Four, three, two, and one. All right. We're working our way towards the end of this particular circuit. Next up, we're going to do those planks up down. So we're going to start in an elbow plank up, up into a high plank, down, down to the elbow. So with me, start by locking in that nice, good plank form. And then you're going to place your right hand on the mat, left hand up, up, and then right back down to the mat. Down and down. Somehow these rest intervals seem to get shorter. I promise you, they're the same interval you use at the start. And then down, down. Stick with it. We're getting there. Up, up, down, down. Hitting those biceps, hitting those shoulders, waking up the core a little bit. We have less than 10 seconds, so stick with me. Down. And down, two, and one. All right, let's hit the mat. Let's get those triceps a little bit more this round. So we're going to start on your side. We've done these before. Those are those sort of side tricep push-ups. Start on your left side. Right hand on the mat underneath the armpit, essentially, or in front of the armpit. And you're just going to push your body up. Left hand does absolutely nothing except add a little bit of weight for that right arm to push. 
So pushing up onto the hip and right back down. So that right elbow should sort of be facing towards your knees at this point. Push. Yeah, nice. Triceps are getting it today. We've got 10 seconds. Push. We've got five, four, three, two, and one. All right. Scoot it over to the other side. So right hips on the mat. Right arm finally gets that break. And left hand goes flat on the ground, getting ready for those tricep press-ups. So again, right arm is dead weight. Left arm is doing the push-up. In three, in two, and one. Let's go. Boom. And down. Press it up. And down to the mat. Dial in all of your focus to that left arm at this point. We're working with muscles that are tired. They want a break. It's coming up. Push. And down to the mat. Woo! Come on. This is it. We get a little bit of a break, and then we've got our burnout rounds, our finisher rounds. Five, four, three, two, and one. All right, a little bit of a break here. Grab some water. So we have two finisher rounds coming up. So we're going to start back up on our feet with the lighter dumbbells. And here's what we're doing. So finish your round. We are hitting muscles that are already tired. You're gonna want lighter dumbbells in hand. Here's what we're looking at. We're gonna go row. Stand up nice and tall. You're gonna curl, you're gonna press, and you're gonna try some extension, and then you're gonna bring it back in reverse. Boom, and row. The key here is that we are just going for it. This is a long round of work. That's why we're using those lighter weights. We're basically looking to get our bodies to that max point, right? So I'm gonna set the timer for two full minutes. If you reach the point where you are done and you cannot finish that last rep, then that's it. Drop it out, stretch your shoulders out, give yourself a little bit of time for our core burnout, okay? So here we go, dumbbells in hand. We're going to start with that row, curl, press, extension. Here we go. Row. Stand up nice and tall. Curl, press, extension. And then bring it in. Row, curl, press, and extend. And we're not necessarily going for as slow as possible. We're definitely not going for cars this But we're pushing that body all the way through. Again, just looking as safely as possible to pull every last ounce of work and energy out of the upper body. Yeah, beautiful. Looking good. Yup. Yeah, remember, focusing on form here, right? Nice straight backs. Not letting any momentum finish these reps for you. Extend. Woo! Yeah! Keep it going, come on! Looking good. We've got a full minute of work to go. So remember, if you reach the point where your muscles are fatigued, that's your end point. You drop those dumbbells. And you stretch it out. Woo! Come on. It's going to depend on the weight that you're using, the speed that you're doing these reps. Yes. Beautiful. Keep it going. We're ignoring this timer because we have 30 more seconds. Yes. Come on. Almost there. Everything's burning. 20 seconds to go. This is like a hit interval. We've got this. Come on. Woo! Looking good. 10 second countdown. We've got this. Everybody's still moving. Try to hit that last set of reps. Three, two, and one. Woo! All right. Dumbbells to the side and shake it out. Beautiful. 
what do we say? We still on it for a little bit of a core challenge and we just beat up. We're good? Okay. That means we're heading back down to the mat. You guys, four looked awesome on that last finish around. Beautiful. That's what ensures that you're going to feel tomorrow. I promise you that. So we're down to the mat. And because this is upper body, we've been working the arms. You know where this core challenge is coming in at, right? We're coming into some planks. We're going for a full three minutes if we can. Again, if your body fatigues, you're down, okay? And start that stretch. The body is tight. We're at that point. We're not going for a straight hold. We're going to move around, create some rotation and some relief where we can, okay? So, down to the mat. Let's do this. Our last burnout. Listen to that. Who has two burnouts in one workout? Come on. So, we're going to start in that elbow hold position. So, go ahead and lock in that good form. Just focus on breathing for now, right? We're still feeling fresh in this plank. Feeling good. Hips are down. Back is nice and straight. Nicely done here. All right, we have about five seconds. And then we're going to rotate to that right arm for a little bit of a whole right side plank. Here we go. Rotate in. Reach that left arm right up towards the ceiling. And hold. Nice. Everything should be a little shaky right now. Three, two, one. And one back to the center, quick elbow plank, and then we're going to rotate to that left side. This is going to bring us to the one minute mark. Three, two, and one. Go ahead and rotate to that left side. I'm just going to switch sides so I can see what's happening with the timer. Reach that right arm right up towards the ceiling. Staying strong here. Hold on tight. We're going to go back to the center in four, three, two, and one. Find that center hold. As soon as you've locked in your form, what I want you to do is you're almost dancing to the movement. I want you to rock your shoulders left to right. Just a subtle movement here. Over the wrist, keep your butt low. Hold strong. We've got 10 more seconds of these rocks. Five, four. Three, two, and one quick hold. This is going to bring us to two minutes. You guys, when you come out of this, you can either join us again or start that stretch. Two, and one, up, up into a high plank. Woo! We're pushing it today. There is no doubt these challenges are big time. All right, here we go. We have less than a minute left. Start with those shoulder taps. Almost there. Truly looking for failure here. Butt stays low. We're so close. About 30 seconds to the finish line. Let's go five, four, three, two, and one. Find that hold. And then you're going to do the same thing, but with your toes. You're just going to tap the left foot to the right, right to the left. Back and forth. Just low, slow taps. We have 15 seconds of work to go. So close. Hold on to it. 10 seconds. Tap. Back and forth. Keep that butt low. Keep those shoulders over your wrists. Four, three, two, and one. Knees touch down. Sit back over those heels. You guys kicked some butt. Nice job. Two finishers in one workout. Sit back over those heels. You can draw your arms back towards your heels if you want to give those shoulders a little bit of a break. Taking those deep breaths in and slowly exhaling. Giving your body a little bit of time here. You're still pumping blood to those muscles. That's what you want. All right, go ahead and reach those arms back out in front. Nice and gentle. I want you to take that left arm and scoop it under the right armpit and stretch through that shoulder. Close your eyes. Sink into these stretches. Give yourself some time. 
It takes the body about 30 seconds to sort of connect to the brain, let it know that the stretch is something it wants to do, and then for those muscles to move. So it takes a bit of time. Go ahead and stretch both hands out in front and scoop that right arm underneath the left arm hip. Settle into that stretch. Deep breath in, slow exhales here. Three, two, and one. Back to the center. And go ahead and pull yourself up onto all fours. You're going to take a deep breath in, round the back up to the ceiling, and suck the chin into the chest. As you exhale, the hips come forward, the belly button comes forward, and the chin lifts nice and tall. Deep breath in, round the back up to the ceiling. Need to space between the vertebrae. Exhale, pull the belly button down. Shoulders are down and back here, so space between the ears and the shoulders. One more, deep breath in. And then exhale, pull the belly button down to the mat. Go ahead and find the neutral. You're going to walk the hands out just enough here so that you can lower the hips down to the mat. Into Cobra. Again, focusing here on pulling the shoulder blades down and back. If you're more comfortable in a half cobra, so down on the elbows, that's definitely fine. This is all about your comfort zone, stretching things out in a way that feels safe for you. Again, I want you focusing just on that deep breathing here. Let your chin fall forward. And then tilt the chin back up. Again, let the chin fall forward. Tilt the chin back up. Bring the chin to neutral. Tuck the toes under. Go ahead and lift those hips up towards the ceiling. Adjust your feet and hands as needed so that you are in a comfortable downward dog. Start a gentle pedal right to left, so you're going to bend the left knee, straighten the right, and then opposite, alternating sides here, giving the stretch and the release at the same time. If you're holding that neck up, go ahead and release tension from the neck and jaw. Three, two, and one. Go ahead and walk the toes towards the hands into that forward fold. This is where all of your attention just comes back to your breathing. Deep breath in and as you exhale, sink into that stretch. And when you're ready, roll the shoulders up towards the ceiling. Big shoulder roll back behind you. Get rid of any knots back there. Really them out. You know, get rid of them later on and shake things out. You guys, wonderful workout. Thank you so much. Woo!